What's up, YouTube? I got a um, update on the 10-gallon Nano for you guys today. Uh, I know I haven't done one in a while, like the 40-gallon breeder, the video I just posted. Um, I'm going to be doing two videos today. So, um, here's the 10-gallon. And <clears throat> as you can see, I've got some new corals. I'll be going over the corals throughout the video. Um, well, basically one new coral and the anemone. So I'll start with the anemone. Um, this is another condi anemone, but it's pink or purple, pink tip, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it's doing good so far. It's attached to that rock. Personally, I do not like these anemones. I just don't really like the look of them, and they take up so much space. And my dad just keeps buying them. He just keeps coming home with anemones. I'm like, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> so, um, yeah. I don't really like them. So, we're going to see if we can return this one. Because it's too plain and I just don't like it. We're going to, I guess we're going to keep this one. But maybe down the road we'll get rid of it. I don't know what we're going to do with them. But, um, yep, that's the anemones. I'm going to feed them today. Um... And here's the other corals that I got. These are yellow and brown polyps. Um, this is one of the rocks. And this is the other one. So, this, these two rocks right here, these two frags, they were originally together. But when, when, we, um, when my dad brought them home, I decided to frag them, split them right down the middle. So I could have two, one here and one here. <clears throat> Not just one big frag of them. And I can like, it'll make, it'll make it easier for me to frag, frag them. Because I'm going to see if I can frag po like individual polyps onto a frag disc. I'm going to get some frag discs and frag them. See if I can, you know, sell them or give them away to local fish stores. Excuse me. Um... So yep, that's the that's those are the polyps. And I'm pretty sure we have to um you know uh, squirt but I have an idea for that like probably get some of this mysis shrimp and crush it like not too fine grade but either that or get the stuff that I feed the condi the scallops and uh, mince it up and mix it with the salt water take a turkey baster and squirt it but um yeah if you guys have any techniques for feeding those then that'd be awesome to hear <clears throat> and obviously the mushrooms are still doing great it looks like they've been multiplying everywhere especially this rock right here see if I can zoom in for you guys there's been tons of growth there's one new head. This one back there. There's uh another one right behind there. That's one. And this this uh frag rock actually was here before. But this morning and th also this rock was down here. And this morning I found this rock tipped over on to on top of this rock. So I had to reach my hand in. And instead of putting it back to here, I just put it up there so it could be with the rest of the mushrooms. Looks like it's a whole mushroom group. And then I put this here because I thought it would look nice. Like It looks like a little bridge. So, uh, yep, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this update. Oh, yeah, and the clownfish, of course, are doing good. They've, for some reason, they've been, like, staying up behind the filter because that's where they sleep they just stay up there all day I don't know why but I mean occasionally they'll they'll come out but they'll stay at the top it's like they don't like the polyps or something like ever ever since I put the polyps in they'll just stay up there but so uh yep guys that's gonna do it for the update oh shoot and I forgot to hold my camera sideways sorry about that guys but um I'll make sure to do that next time. And, uh, yep, peace out.